Have you lost your wealth due to some unforeseen government policy that was made? Or an investment that crashed? Don't worry, there's a God of restoration that will restore all and more. He's done it before, not just for one person, but for the whole nation of Israel. Therefore, yours cannot be different. If he can do it before, then he can do it again. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. He will restore to you all your years of labor without profit or reward to show for it. All the great business deals and investments that just as if it had been a waste of time and resources, he will restore them in great measures. Maybe the crashing of your business, investment, and or organization came suddenly and as a shock to you. And because of that, your health has been affected too, either directly or indirectly. God will restore your health too. Any illness that has crept in because of the loss of your wealth and has made your health bad, God will restore both your health and wealth. He does complete work. He doesn't work halfway and stops. People will rejoice with you once again and you'll be back on your feet because God will restore and no one can deny that you're restored indeed. Job was the wealthiest man in the East in his days. He was blessed with family, good health, and security as well. God trusted Job. He was proud to declare him his servant. God permitted Satan to test him, just to prove to Satan that Job's love and fear for him were genuine. Job was tested, and indeed, he lost everything, his wealth and health, including all his children. There was no hope for him. His case was so critical that his wife just told him to curse God and die. But in all, Job never sinned against God. And then, when the time of the test was over, God restored the wealth and health of Job. God blessed him wonderful child hands several years added, such that he saw his fourth generation. Everything was restored double-fold. Maybe you're in your time of testing, too. Life is not always a bed of roses. What you're passing through is only a phase and a moment that will soon end because the God of restoration will step in. Don't give up on yourself and God. He will restore to you all that was lost in double fold. When God wants to restore you, it doesn't matter the little you have or if you don't have at all. He is not limited by human resources. Therefore, don't look at yourself and judge God's ability by your disability. All you've got to do is have faith in Him and believe that what He said He will do, He will bring it to pass. The widow didn't argue about the instruction with Prophet Elisha, but rather obeyed. So also, you have to believe God for what He said. He is set to do and watch it come to pass in your life. Jesus, when He walked the earth, did great signs and miracles. He healed all those that were sick and oppressed of the devil. No one came to Him that He didn't heal. Whatever it was, even those born with infirmaries received their healings. When it comes to restoration, age does not count. Even if you are suffering from a sickness or illness that you've been told is hereditary, Maybe your parents or any of your relatives have battled or are battling with such sickness. Don't let that take away your faith and belief that God can restore health. Yes, God can restore health to your lineage. He can rewrite the health history of a generation and He will. So also is wealth. If your parent had lost it for years now, wealth will be restored to your family and your generation will no longer be associated with poverty. Jesus didn't only heal physical sickness. He healed all those that have emotional issues too, like the Samaritan woman, Mary Magdalene, in which he cast out seven demons and so on. 
Their cases were not that of a physical wound or infection on the body, but the sound mind was restored to them. Their lives became worth living. Your case cannot be too great or greater than the power of God. He will restore your health to you. Your wealth is not an exception. Wealth is a blessing and a gift from God, and he said in his word that he will not withhold any good thing from his children. Therefore, get ready for the restoration of wealth to yourself, your family, and all that concerns you. The amazing part is Jesus said all that he has done, greater will be done. So hold on to that and watch as great health and wealth are restored to you. How good does it feel when you look back at past challenges that God has helped you overcome? It feels great, right? Well, God is still in the business of doing great things. So if it feels like problems have been drowning you, this is for you. I need you to know that God is capable of changing situations. He is the power that holds the world together. Not only will He help you out of the difficulties, God Himself would be present with you in these problems, and He will pull you out of those pits and problems. Are you having problems at the moment? I have news for you. God will draw you out of that problem. God is telling you that through the troubles He would hold your hand. He has said, that he will never leave you nor forsake you, so that you can boldly say that your help comes from God. When you pass through the pits and problems, God will be there for you. When you pass through the waters, he will be with you. He said, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Whatever difficulty you're going through, don't feel frustrated or depressed with your life. Remember all He has in store for you and hold on to God who has kept you all this while and as He has done it before, He will surely do it again. Remember, He doesn't change or fail. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Irrespective of the problems you're passing through in life, God will pull you out of it. God's power is sovereign over all things, and so He has the power to deliver you from the biggest problems of this world. Anything at all that you're passing through, anything that is troubling your heart, you can be sure that God will do it for you.